Doctors in some areas are warning parents to keep their newborn babies at home amid fears that the whooping cough epidemic will escalate this winter. New statistics show that for every 200 newborns who contract the disease, one will die. So far this year, there have been more than 13,000 cases in Australia. Around 4,500 of those were in New South Wales, 3,000 in Queensland, 1,100 in South Australia and more than 3,000 in Victoria. Joining us now for more is today medical expert Dr Rick Gordon. Rick, good morning to morning, you. Georgie. Why the spike in cases? Well, I think there's been a sort of flattening out of the number of people getting their children vaccinated and also grandparents and parents and carers of these babies being vaccinated. So as we get into the winter months and children huddle more together, cough and sneeze on each other, we're going to see the whooping cough uh, 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 rise. Remind us how deadly it is. Well, it can be. You heard yourself in the intro that uh, people, children will die from whooping cough. It's a terrible disease, especially in the very uh, early days of life and uh, and this starts off as a simple cold and can end up uh, as we said in death it, it is a dangerous disease fairly drastic measure though to, to advise parents to keep babies at home is that because it's so easily spread absolutely I mean it's really hard when you've got working couples to keep their children home when someone's got to go to work and, and and there's no one to look after the child but daycare centers are the big ones they're the ones that are telling people if your child starts to cough uh, please keep it at home because these things just travel uh, like wildfire through the community from what age can babies be immunized from six months onwards we get there's a, a very much a vaccination program in place now vaccination does not stop whooping cough in uh, whooping cough in all cases but it's the best thing we've got uh, and it and offer does offer good long-term immunity uh, and and people should get out there families grandparents carers anybody, anybody involved in children and and young children themselves so get them vaccinated and, and for adults get the booster shot because there's no lifelong guarantee absolutely yeah. get get the booster shot. if you're going to be looking after a child someone in the family's had a baby go off and, and get uh, uh, get yourself uh, boosted. Good advice. Doctors are warning anyone who comes in contact with children to make sure their whooping cough vaccination is up to date. A newborn baby has died just hours after being admitted to a Melbourne hospital, becoming Victoria's first whooping cough death in seven years. In that state alone, more than 1,300 cases of whooping cough have been reported in the past six weeks. A few years ago, there was a ridiculous claim made that uh, vaccinations uh, for whooping cough could lead to autism of your kids. That is complete and utter nonsense. That should be stopped. The effect of the vaccine wears off and booster shots are recommended for teenagers and new parents. Well, Australia is currently in the midst of a whooping cough epidemic. Already we've had nearly 6,000 cases reported this year alone. That's off the back of almost 30,000 cases in 2009. South Australia has the highest rate of infection and the AMA's immunisation expert, Dr Rod Pearce, is in Adelaide and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Dr Pearce. Why the increase? Well, I guess we don't really know, but there's a few suggestions. But we had a big outbreak last year and it seems to be continuing in South Australia again this year. So we're concerned that um, the vaccination is getting to everyone and maybe there's, uh, um, we know that uh, there isn't a free vaccine for parents and grandparents of young children. So it's of concern that um, maybe there's a group of unimmunised uh, South Australians that haven't yet had access to a vaccine preventable uh, uh, disease. And so that would explain why it's worse in Adelaide? Well, that's one of the things we're looking at, um, but it's certainly uh, the numbers in South Australia are a lot higher than they have been uh, in other states, and uh, South Australia is streaking ahead this year as a, a very high incidence, and it looks like uh, twice in a row, two consecutive years, um, we're having the highest incidence, uh, sometimes um, four times higher than uh, uh, Victoria and uh, New South Wales, and uh, twice as high as some of the other states. So um, it's uh, something we need to look at in South Australia. How much of a difference does the immunisation make and who should get it? Well, we know it's a, a preventable... Um, whooping cough is a vaccine-preventable disease. Um, we know it's effective. Um, we've got good vaccination rates in children, but um, the uh, transmission seems to come from young parents and their grandparents and people looking after those children. So um, we don't have a, a regular vaccine program for people 25, uh, young parents or grandparents. Um, and um, since the death uh, last year in the eastern states, um, those states have been offering uh, free vaccines for that group. Uh, we don't do that in South Australia, so that's one of the key things that, that stands out immediately, and we need to look at that and uh, maybe should be offering free vaccines for that group. How does it spread? 
Um, it spreads like uh, other respiratory infections, cough and droplets, and particularly if, you immunize, if you're not immunised or um, don't have any immunity, it's a highly contagious disease um, like other um, sort of respiratory infections. So what's your advice to parents coming into winter, Dr Pearce? How do you know the difference between just a bad cold and whooping cough coming on? Uh, when it starts, it may not be any difference, um, but certainly if you haven't been vaccinated, uh, um, that's going to be of concern. Traditionally, it's uh, um, in, in kids under 12 months, it's potentially life-threatening uh, disease. Um, we call it 100-day cough, so you get a cough that lasts and persists, but that's diagnosing it once it's happened. Um, and if anyone's got any concerns, they should see their doctor early. But as a vaccine-preventable disease and a vaccine being available, it's important to, to think and, uh, early. And, and um, if you're thinking of having children or coming up and not vaccinated recently, talk to your doctor. OK, it's, uh, those figures are absolutely alarming. Dr Rod Pearce, we thank you very much for your insight this morning. Thank you. But first, a five-week-old Adelaide baby has died from whooping cough, sparking fears of an epidemic. So far this year, there have been more than 15,000 cases of whooping cough across Australia. That's up by more than 300% in the past 10 years. This year, the outbreak has been worst in Queensland and then South Australia. And for more, I'm joined by Today reporter Jade Robran in Adelaide. And from Brisbane, the Vice President of the AMA, Dr Steve Hambleton. If I can go to you first, Jade, authorities in Adelaide are particularly concerned. Yes, they are, Lisa, and, and uh, authorities are urging parents to vaccinate their children. The news comes as a five-week-old baby died this week in hospital. He was admitted into hospital on Friday and died in intensive care three days later. Doctors are saying that the baby boy died of complications following the infection. It's the first infant death in the state in about a decade, and this outbreak is the worst we've seen in South Australia in 40 years. OK, thanks for that, Jade. I'll go to Dr Hambleton now. Doctor, this sharp rise is not just contained to Adelaide, though, is it? No, it isn't. We're seeing this uh, in all states of Australia, and some states are a little behind, but certainly there's an epidemic at the moment, and it's, it occurs every three to four years right throughout the country. So why is whooping cough on the rise at the moment? Well, whooping cough's an unusual disease. It's a bacterial disease of the upper respiratory tract. But if you get the disease or you're vaccinated, you are susceptible about 10 years later. So all of us potentially could carry it and all of us potentially could, carry it, could pass it on to young children. So what are the symptoms that parents should be looking out for in their kids? Well, often it's very difficult to diagnose and you don't get the classic hoop in adults and you don't get the classic hoop in little babies. It starts off, it looks like a common cold. So you get a sore throat, uh, runny eyes, runny nose, not much of a temperature. And after a couple of weeks, the severe cough begins. And that's the coughing spasms that we're so, we're so uh, scared about. And children will cough and cough and cough till they've got no breath left. And then the, the hoop is actually breathing in, which is a terrible sound if you've ever heard it. But adults don't hoop. They just get this, these coughing spasms. And we see it in adults commonly all the time. And it's often the adults that infect the children. So what should you do when you see those symptoms, Doctor? Well, one thing you should do is, if you, if you are ill, stay away from young babies. And we do vaccinate children at the age of two months, four months and six months. But early in their life, they don't have antibodies from their mother that can protect them. So what we do is we use a cocoon strategy. We try and vaccinate both parents. We're actually suggesting to grandparents we should vaccinate them as well, because they're the ones in close contact to young children. But if we can get our herd immunity up, we can actually reduce the amount of whooping cough in our society and stop these tragic outcomes. OK, Dr Steve Hamilton, some very good advice there. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.